Hello from Slide Nerd. This is Weaves. What's up, guys? So we are going to go to some complex stuff. One of them being this: find all factors of a number. Exactly what what things are divisible. That's what we are going to find out in this program. So let's see how the output looks. We ask the user enter a number. The user says eight. You are going to tell the user one is a factor, two, four, and eight. So if we have a big number, this list is going to be massive, right? So how are we going to do this? That's the first question. If you have a number like seven, there are only two factors, one and seven, right? So it's a prime number. So basically, there are only two factors. So let's go ahead and see how we test it for eight and seven. So here, what I have is this table. I have eight. I'm dividing it by everything from one to eight. I have that answer column over there where I'm putting the answer. Like eight by one is eight. Eight by two is four. Eight by three is two point six six seven, and blah blah blah. And I'm using something called math.seal. Now this math.seal, the name suggests, is a simple function that simply rounds off. It takes the decimal point out, but it it rounds off in a weird way. Like if you have 2.667, it's gonna round off to three, right? But if you have 1.333, it's again gonna round off to two. It's a very greedy function. It needs just one point more than your decimal, and it'll say no. The next highest integer is this. So even if you give 1.1, it will say no. I want two. It doesn't. It either wants one or it wants two. It doesn't go anywhere in between. It's like that. So I'm using a function mat dot seal for the answers. Eight is rounded to eight. Four is rounded to four. Two point six seven is rounded to three. Two to two. One point six to two. And as I told you, even these two are gonna be rounded to two, right? So here is the funny thing. Notice something. Eight, four, two, one. Something weird, right? Four numbers that are perfectly divisible. Or I should say, their seal is perfectly equal, right? These, these two, these two, these two, these two, right? The math dot seal for the answer and the answer are equal. So whenever this happens, that means the number is a factor. Simple as that. Don't believe me? Let me show you exactly what I mean. Take seven. Divide it by everything from one to seven. Seven by one is seven. Seven by two is three point five. Seven by three is two point three three. Again, take a look. If you say mat dot seal, this this case seven equals seven and one equals to one are the only two places where the answer and the mat dot seal are going to be equal. So that means these numbers, that is the answer seven or the, uh, the, the answer one or the answer one and the answer seven, are the only two factors. Now here, take a look. Eight is eight, four is four, two is two. That means two, four, eight are the factors. Simple as that. This is what exactly we're gonna do in the program. So let's go ahead, see how this is done. I'm gonna have a number like eight. Divide everything by one to eight. Ask the question: Is result equals to seal of the result? Take that is take the result of division. Take the seal of the result and check if they are both equal. If they are both equal, that means the number is a factor. Print it. Otherwise, nope. So let's go ahead, get this running up on that beans. So here in NetBeans, I have an empty project with a println statement where I say enter the number, and you know integer dot percent blah 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 to convert from string to the number, store it inside a variable called number. Now what I'm gonna do is have a for loop. I'm gonna divide it by everything from one to the number, right? I'll say for i is one, i less the number, i plus plus. Divide the number. So I'll simply first print it out. I'll have a blank println statement. What I'm gonna do is divide the number by everything, right? That is number by i. Number by one, number by two, number by three, number by four, and I'll just print the result and see what comes. I'll say enter the number seven. So it's gonna give me seven point zero, three point zero. You guys are like, hey, where the hell is the decimal point? Well, the number by i needs to be typecasted if you want the decimal point because number by i is doing integer division. You need to convert it to double. So again, if you say this time, you can see. But here's the weird thing, as you guys can see. You have two point three 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 five running up to ten times. Ten numbers. So I'm gonna print the result, and I'm gonna print the math dot seal of the result, and there's slash t. Put a tab in between the two. So now I say enter the number. I'll press seven. As you guys can see over here, seven point zero, seven point zero, one point zero, one point zero. Only two places where the numbers are same, right? That is the math dot result. I mean seal and the result are the same in the two places, right? So I'm gonna use that logic and if statement. I'm gonna say result equals equals math dot seal of the result. Then simply print the number, right? Because that's a factor. So I'm gonna simply print. 
say system dot out dot print this time I'll say I is a factor because I is the number which you're dividing right one two three four five six seven I is your number so I'll say I is the factor right so then I'll put an empty println statement for a new line at the end of the for loop now comment that out let's see what this gives seven one is a factor seven is a factor now this looks kind of odd we actually need a space wait a second not a space we need a slash n yep a new line so I'll say enter seven it's a one is a factor seven is a factor I say something else at rate one two four eight let's put some big number and test it out mm, how about mm, 36 yep see that list it's a huge list right they're all factors of 36 so as you guys can see this is working if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this I'll be making more vids please stay tuned so I'll catch you guys later have a nice day happy watching